we can score on the opponent. Oh, it's going right, right to the opponent. Should be going at two pixels per frame. And bam! That doesn't work. I had the same problem in my previous attempt. And I never really figured out why is that happening. So basically, this is our entire Pong program. And as far I know, no other operations should occur. So I'll quickly check how long I am recording already. Um, which is probably quite some time already. So on this I will end this video. I will have a little peek in why the opponent can't score on the right side or better said on the left side. If I can find a fix before Sunday I will post it on Sunday I guess or Saturday in this weekend but else I might I will include it in the next episode. So goodbye Hello and welcome back to part 9 of Make Your Own Emulator. In this episode we'll run the program into new and existing operations as the game is fixed and will now run like how it should. So we'll encounter uh, quite some new operations and there's the first one. It is the zero class of operation eight. So it's operation F E D A eight. So we'll go on to case zero, which is eight X Y zero, which does Z V X to the value of phi y. So int x equals upcode and ox fo shifted to 8 and y is upcode and the, uh, this. There we go. We'll add our comment setting v x to int v y v x is v y, no need for conversions I'll increment the program counter by 2 and break it I'll also increase the speed of the application because it will be horrible to constantly wait for all those things to constantly re replay and mis making sure you fill is just as easy. And the next code is 85. So 85 equals case OX05 VY uh, is subtracted from Vx, Vf is set to zero when there is a borrow else one. So what does a borrow mean? And that is a good question. So I will check what the chip instruction sex set said so alright well the instruction set actually says 
something different than Wikipedia, which is quite a bummer. If Y is subtracted from when there's borrow. Uh, no, no, it's correct. So borrow means if um, phi y is larger than phi x, it will go below zero, which is not possible because we use unsigned bytes. So I'm not sure what should happen. I'm not sure what should happen if it actually occurs. So I will basically say system will be our we'll just continue out to operation and then subtract it or uh, use the remainder or something like that. Phi x no need for space there plus minus uh, is vx int vx plus vy is int vy equals checks for I'll actually print like normally and now I will set V F to the borrow case so if No borrow, so if phi x is larger than phi y, it should be set to zero. Now, if phi x is larger than phi y, there will be no borrow. And that me is Renovar, so it should be set to one. That was actually pretty hard. Else V O X F equals zero. And we also print that to the console line. No borrow. Borrow. And of course, we should apply the actual code. And increment the program counter by two and break. So this should do uh, the trick. And it will not go right because I should declare it like this. And a check so it never can exceed the byte size or the yeah byte size. The next operation is f eight eighteen. Okay. F eighteen 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 there. Case OX eighteen equals FX eighteen. Set the sound timer to the X. Int X equals upcode ended with the second nibble. Shift down eight times. The uh, sound timer is VX. Program counter plus equals two, and I'm missing a lot of breaks here. Oh, 
which is quite a shame, but they're fixed. So the code might execute differently now, but it's a shame. Uh, Alright, we'll check for the next bug. Note that this is running at 120. Why the Ah. Um, I think I re Ah. So I actually never properly increment or implemented the um, sound timer and delay timer. So at the end of each run, three matches. Yeah, it's actually quite a wonder it worked. So at the end of each round, I will check the delay if it's larger than zero. Then I will timer, whatever you like, and I'll de decrement it, and then it should work. There we go. So it's quite a bug, but I didn't know it is. So there we go. And we can score. So now let's see if we can score on the opponent. Oh, it's going right, right to the opponent. She's going at two pixels per frame. And bam! That doesn't work. I had the same problem in my previous attempt. And I never really figured out why is that happening. So basically, this is our entire Pong program. And as far I know, no other operations should occur. So I'll quickly check how long I am recording already. Um, Which is probably quite some time already. So on this, I will end this video. I will have a little peek in why the opponent can't score on the right side, or on a better side on the left side. If I can find a fix before Sunday, I will post it on Sunday, I guess, or Saturday in this weekend but else I might I will include it in the next episode so goodbye